and suddenly we're at 5,000 miles. 5,000 miles on this ice adventure. It has been quite a journey. And today we're going to talk a little bit about my, my thoughts and my reviews of this ice adventure rear suspension 26 inch recumbent trike. Well, I think we'll go down this little trail, find a quiet spot out of the wind, and we can talk a little bit about my thoughts and reviews of this trike since purchasing it in the late, late spring, early summer of 2020. Well, welcome to the channel. Some of you have been viewing my videos all along, so this trike should not be something new and unusual to you. But I thought we'd take this time to, I guess, discuss it. Because when I was riding today, I looked down and sure enough, another milestone happened. And we just turned the 5,000 mile mark on this ice adventure over the course of the last, oh, about 15 months. We purchased the trike late last spring in 2020 and a lot of the motivation behind this trike and the story behind it really has to do with the fact that the pedal pushing wife suffered a brain hemorrhage and a stroke in January of 2020 and we've been cycling for 20 years 25 years and so some changes needed to happen and so as we began to explore those options that are out there we came across these ice trikes and more importantly the fact that they have an e-assist system. And so in the late spring we were able to find an ice trike dealer in Fairbanks, Alaska of all places, which was unusual enough as it was. But we went out and tried these and instantly we knew that this was going to be the answer to help in the rehab as well as the continuation of our cycling. And so today I thought after that period of time, uh, I just turned 5,000 miles on mine. My wife just turned 2,000 miles on hers. So I think we've got enough time in the saddle to kind of reflect on the things that we have found that we really enjoy and perhaps some suggestions or ideas or concerns we have that if you should want to purchase one of these, some stuff you might want to know ahead of time before you pull that trigger and spend that money because again recumbent trikes are not the cheapest option out there so after 5,000 miles what's the good what's the good what makes these trikes something worth looking at maybe something worth pursuing for you well first of all um, probably the most positive thing I can say about this trike and it is just it's hard to, to actually understand it until you ride one but these trikes are just absolutely superb, solid, good feeling, good riding, go anywhere kind of trikes. They are as comfortable today as they were when we first rode them months and months ago. Now in part, I guess some of that's the seat, some of it's the frame, some of it's the design, but that's money well spent. This is not a trike that you're gonna ride after 10 miles and say, ah, it's time to get up. It's time to take a break. They are simply as comfortable as you can possibly get. If you decide this is something you're looking for, their, their top seat is their Ergo Lux seat. It's worth every penny, every penny, every penny. Second thing I would probably say is the uh, just an amazing positive about these trikes. And this is one of the reasons that we went with these trikes is because of the e-assist on them and so yep there's a battery there's a motor um, in this case it's a shimano e6100 motor and it's coupled with their 504 watt battery and what that really means in the big picture is that you can ride farther more comfortably and in this case because these are torque sensor motors which means if you don't pedal 
there's no assistance available, it means that you're still getting a good workout. You're still enjoying the ride. You're still getting that, I don't know, that good feeling, that kind of buzz that happens after you've done a good ride and you just, you just plain feel better. The system is just absolutely flawless in terms of its use. Um, you pedal, it goes. There's three levels, so you can go low, you can go high, or you can go without. Now, one thing I will say is if you go without, there is drag produced by the motor, so it's not as freewheeling as experiencing with a regular derailleur system. But again, that motor, outstanding. The battery on these trikes, my experience after 5,000 miles, I get about 70 to 75 miles on a charge. That is amazing. That is outstanding. So we've got just the absolute comfort of this trike, followed by the fact that the electric assist system they put together on this is just giving us outstanding performance, outstanding mileage. When I think about what else is it about this trike that makes me want to recommend it, makes me want to say, this is something you know you should consider. And I think the other part of that is just dealing with the company. Ice Trikes, um, they have absolutely the most responsive company I've ever had with, a, with any kind of bike or trike over the last 30 years. The only issue I've had so far is the seat that I originally started with started to develop some strange wear on one of the corners that didn't seem quite right to me. It didn't seem like that's something that you should experience so soon. So a simple email to the company, contact was made, I sent them a couple pictures. The next thing I know, there's another seat on the way to me from England. Got here in four days because they put it on a rush order. They simply responded to their customers and the concerns they have. So absolutely outstanding service. You, they're simply, it is just amazing how quick and responsive this company is to their products. Well, the next thing I want to feature in terms of why this trike has to do with the brake system. Now, in today's world, the majority of, of bikes and trikes really are utilizing disc brakes in their system as a stopping source. And while I have no complaints about disc brakes, I gotta tell you, I really don't like them. Disc brakes are just, I don't know, I've, my experience is they're finicky. They love to make noise. They love to squeal. They love to come out of alignment. They love for me to be spending my time working on them. And I don't know if I've gotten old and lazy, but I just don't like fiddling with that kind of thing anymore. So on a nice adventure, they come standard with what are called hub brakes. And the easiest way to explain a hub brake is when you think back when you were a kid and you had that single speed bike and you pedaled backwards and that was your brake. Well, that's essentially a hub brake. In this case, they're activated by regular brake levers. But these hum, hub brakes and they're Sturmy Archers, they're 90 millimeters, which I guess that's a selling point. What that really means is they're big. Well, the reality is after 5,000 miles, I have never once had to work on them. I've never once had to make any adjustments. I've never once had them squeal. I've never once had them not stop me. And they have been just absolutely superb the entire time. I mean, that right there is enough for some bikes out there and stuff I've had before. That's a selling point in and of itself, let alone coupled with, you know, the comfort of this trike, the, the ease of the pedaling and the other stuff I've mentioned. So the brakes, it's a, it's an absolute win-win-win situation. So if you're thinking about a trike, you're thinking about an ice trike, oh, these brakes, you're going to love them. They work. They're reliable. There's no maintenance. What more can you ask for? So when I think of one more positive, and there really are probably more positives than, you know, if you're an ice trike rider and you have others positives to make, hey, absolutely, put them in the comments. 
because I really would be curious to know, you know, what other people find with their trikes. And even if you're not riding an ice trike, there's positives about your trike. So feel free, absolutely, to mention those as well. So the last thing I'm going to mention about this trike, and this is something that, honestly, I was not anticipating. It was not on a shopping list. It was something I hadn't even considered before. But these ice trikes come with an automatic shifting capability. And so they have a Shimano DI-1 shifting system, which really is a button on my handlebar that allows me to seamlessly shift the eight gears that are contained within the hub on the back. I can shift stopped, I can shift while I'm riding, it automatically defaults to a certain gear anytime I stop for more than about oh five seconds and having never experienced it before oh it takes all the guesswork out of shifting you just hit a button and things happen and life goes on and while there's a learning curve it's definitely a positive aspect about this trike and so if you are in the market and you're looking for something like that, which not everybody would be, um, it's, it's definitely worth trying to ride one of these trikes with this automatic shifting on it because it truly does change the experience that you're having. So, everything positive. Is this trike the perfect machine? There's no room for improvement. Well, no, I, I can't say that's the case. Now, I can only speak to the, the model of adventure trike I've got. And the trike I've got is the Ice Adventure rear suspension, 26 inch rear wheel. It comes with the Shimano E6100 E Assist system. And it comes standard with the Sturmy Archer brakes, which I spoke about. But it also comes standard with a Shimano eight speed internal gear hub on the back. And so, what that means is if you look at a standard bike and you see the gears in the back and the derailleur, it doesn't have any of that. Instead, of, it's an internal thing. So everything happens inside the hub, which from a general maintenance standpoint, it's wonderful. There's nothing to clean. There's nothing to get caught. There's no place for rocks and twigs and grass and stuff like that. But I would say probably my first thought and something that I guess I would change about this trike, if I could, is I probably would get rid of that hub. It tends to be a little bit noisy. It's only got eight gears in it, which I've found that I just, there's times where I just need a couple more. That the way they space the gears is not even, so there's some gaps in there, which sometimes produces not quite what I need. And so that's one thing I, I would change. The other thing I'll say about that hub is the only way to service it, the only way to kind of give it an oil job, is you've got to take it to a dealer or you've got to have enough mechanical aptitude that you don't mind taking it apart. So I've done 5,000 miles on it. It's a little bit noisy. You can kind of hear it a little bit. And for somebody who really likes a silent, silent experience, uh, something I probably wouldn't purchase again. So what else could I do? Well, I think the second thing, if I, you know, again, was the master of the biking world and I could simply snap my fingers and go, hey, let's change this, let's change that. I think the second thing that I would consider changing in the future, potentially, would be the, the type of e-assist system that came with the trike. Now, in this case, it's a torque sensor. Uh, you've got a mid-drive motor, or a motor that goes with the crank, so as you pedal, the motor's out there. And because it's torque-driven, you know, there's no assistance unless you pedal, which that's fine with me. I think you have to pedal. I think you should be pedaling. But the problem with this system that I see is combined with that hub in the back, which is noisy, the motor has a slight little whine to it that, of course, you can hear at the worst times when you've got a little tailwind and the pedaling's easy and you're thinking, oh, this quiet, silent, and all of a sudden you hear that little bit of a, of a hum, a little bit of a whistle coming out of that motor. A big deal? No. 
A deal breaker? No. Something that I would like to change? Yes. I, I think I definitely would like to change that. In conclusion, good purchase? Oh, absolutely. Just the mere fact that purchasing this trike and my wife's trike, which is identical, has kept her in the cycling game, that's priceless. That's priceless. That's, uh, that's a no-brainer there. That's something that, boy, I'd go back and do that again. Same trikes, even with some of the things that I would change without, without hesitation. And I guess part of that too is, if I'm honest, my wife enjoys riding, but she probably is not quite as so picky about uh, the noise coming off the motor or the noise coming off the rear hub. Those aren't, aren't really concerns that she really has. And so for her, her setup, that trike, it's perfect. It's perfect. In my case, well, if I'm honest, I am one of those cyclists that that likes to tinker just a little bit. There's always room for what if this, what if that. And so, and I've never done this on one of my videos before, but I'm going to leave a teaser here. I'm going to leave a little bit of a teaser here. Opportunity came knocking. A little bit of knowledge gained over the year kicked in and there might be well I don't know there might be a change coming so I guess if you want to see that change I guess you better just keep, stay, keep tuned to the channel if you're not subscribed of course subscribe you'll get a notification that hey he's gonna give us an answer to that question he just posed appreciate you watching I always enjoy the comments thoroughly 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 enjoy the comments I think the recumbent trike community is just a, a fun place. And if I could, I would snap my fingers. I'd send plane tickets to all of you and we'd meet somewhere and just cycle and cycle and cycle. But until then, thanks for watching. Till we see you next time on the road, go for a ride. It's the best thing you could do.